are we live? No. Okay. I'll wait. Yes, we're going live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Isn't that great? So what are we doing this evening? This is our weekly Twitch Plays Kingdom Death campaign, where we have an interactive, ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster, where you guys get to play along with us. I'll explain how in just a minute, but first, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Twitch Proxy, which means you guys get to play, and I help you control the pieces. How do they do it, TP? Well, since you said you'd explain it. I said we. Oh. I think. And you said you. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, the way that we play with you guys is every once in a while, well, there's a lot of dice to be rolled in Kingdom Death, and we make that interactive where you guys can roll the dice on any of the twist character things or communal decisions as well, yeah. and that's done by exclamation mark D space 10, D space 6, D space 5, whatever dice that D needs 100. to be. And we'll ask for it, and whatever is the first roll to come up immediately after TP's request, wave your hand TP. Uh, is the one that we're going to use. We also do that for hit locations. And we also put up polls so you all can vote on some of the harder decisions. And right now there's a poll up that you can vote in right. for what yeah. would you like to fight. So our options today are the Beast of Sorrow, the Phoenix, the Sunstalker, the Gorm, the Dung Beetle Knight, and the Screaming Antelope. So you vote by uh, typing which of the numbers of the choices you are voting for. And uh, let's talk about... First, what happened last week on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? So, not necessarily last week, because last week was our recap of Gen Con, all the exciting updates. Thank you, TBP. Uh, Josh, what happened on our last game of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We fought a level 3 butcher, and we all died horribly, and then he destroyed our settlement storage, and we all cried. It's accurate. Kerfunkel! Thank you! Wait. Fight the Phoenix. What was the last message? I, I, I got up. It was in German. Oh, it was in German? It was in German. I don't know what it is, but it's in German. So, we all died a horrible death. We've got four... We, we had one female survivor. We we're going to try to make some babies with it, and immediately the female survivor, hoo-ha, got ripped to shreds, so we couldn't have any more babies. Josh, can you put the cat inside, please? Yes. Lucy. Where are you? I'm going to get a bark collar for the cat. Where are you? Where are you, cat? I thought I asked you super nice to I stop. I asked you super politely. Why won't you live with me? I sent you a written request in the mail. Josh. You're not going to be happy until the cat knocks the camera over. <laughs> then I'll be thrilled. I sent you a written request in the mail. Why didn't you RSVP that you'd be outside I'm during this I'm still time? waiting for the RSVP to my wedding, and that was two years ago. It was not two years ago yet. I sent it two years ago. That's it true. was due two years ago. That's true. So yes, it has been two years. Uh, you will get a uh, curt and appropriate response when required. Timely response. Timely? Yes. I didn't say it was good time, but... It's time of some sort. <laughs> My cat looks very worried right now. So what are we going to fight? My personal preference, uh, the Phoenix is definitely a dangerous fight, so I wouldn't choose that personally. I think I would choose... <sighs> I want to choose the Sunstalker, actually, just because I think we can get some interesting gear to go into the final fight, like possibly a, a decent bow. It's mostly higher level. is it not a good... Uh, don't tell me how to live my Be life. Beast Sorrow was my thing. Woman. But it looks like the Phoenix is, is winning. You hear uh, Josh is very disappointed in that decision right now. I was happy with Antelope and Beast of Sorrow. That was fine. Gorm would have been okay if we actually had the, the population. Right. To kind of go through at it? Matt, we should fight another antelope and see if Matt early crits it again. <laughs> that would be ridiculous if I did it a third time. Um, just going after the... Uh... Oh, do we get plus luck for departing this year? Yes, we do. Plus two, right? I think so. Uh, you have the book, so you love it all, Joshi. Oh, look at that. The Sunstalker overtook the Phoenix. But New Game Plus would delay our people of the Twitch campaign. What? I'm not, no one wants to delay that. I mean, I don't. It's because yes, I we get two luck tokens. So that's going to be good. There's a lot of luck going on. TP, let me know when you are ready to update <coughs> the Cough Cough Survivor Sheet. Uh, sure. Hi, Tucka! Tech Bad Blade. It is a dead heat right now. Dead heat. TP, did you open up something else on the computer? Because it's a little... Hmm. A little laggy. 
I noticed that as well. How are that? How are that? How are that? That looks mildly better. better now. Yeah, that's a lot better now. That's good. <laughs> what did you do? I refreshed the dashboard, which made the video play twi in two different locations. Which... Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. so who are we playing as? Uh, you guys are playing as it's called the Matt Stalker. Not the actual Matt Stalker. Because you... Mm. Yeah. Which one? There's more than one. We'll discuss that offline. Uh, no, 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 that's actually her complexion, Tekka. She is pale as shit. You actually have the most yellow light pointed at you, too, which is the funny thing. I wonder what she would look like if she came in the, the new camera. She's not allowed to come in the new camera. <clears throat> TP? No, you're not allowed. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're still pale. pale. <laughs> you're still pretty pale. pale. Still pretty pale. Go Who's away. Pink? Go away. Did you see him cringe? Yes, I did. <laughs> TP is going Florida golf style. Only go out in the rain, which is every day at 2 p.m. So, TP, you guys are playing as it's called the Matt Stalker. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're ready for everything else. I am. I'm giant now. Let me know when you're ready. She looks a lot better at the new camera. Don't she give could, that to she her. She could turn the exposure down on her camera if she wanted to. Ah, okay. So, I'm All right, ready. so we are the Matt Stalker. So, what Josh is saying is <laughs> call the <it a> <coughs> Don't expose yourself as much. Uh, any notes? Uh, yeah, it's a super cool character. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Absolute. Uh, they've got stuff and things. Absolute. They have the absolute constellation. We've also got Rhythm Chaser. Oh yeah, what does the absolute constellation do? So Absolute is a scaled oaken face, stares down at you, vicious looking flowers bloom in place, blah blah blah. It gives you plus one permanent evasion, plus one permanent movement, and the ability rooted to all. If you are standing at the start of your act, reveal the top two cards in the AI deck and put them back in any order. So every turn, you will get to look at the top two cards of the AI deck for free. Wow, I don't know how to spell rhythm. Oh, I'm going to destroy whatever we fight. Are you going to speak up? First? I'm going to destroy whatever we fight. So Josh has plus one speed, plus one luck. <coughs> cough, cough. And uh, each time you attack before drawing hit locations, loudly say a name. You lightly bite the eye in your cheek to see what it does. If you draw any hit locations with that name, gain three insanity and ten strength. Uh, you've got a slow weapon and we've got the wisdom potion so you know exactly what you're hitting. That's ridiculous. So you're going to get plus 10 strength to all of your attacks. You have plus 1 luck. If you had a luck charm, you'd be critting on a 5 plus, I think. Plus 1 luck, deadly, that's 2. Oh, you have a natural luck. We have, oh, that's because of that. Yeah, because of that. I also have... Plus 2 luck tokens. 2 tokens, so that's 4. 6 plus. So 6 plus. If you had a lucky charm, you'd be critting on a 5 plus. Oh, lucky charms are delicious. Sugar things. Hearts, stars, and horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows, and we red balloons. That's me lucky that? charms. Magically delicious. Where's the board cam go? Board cam? The camera's off right now, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. There it is. Camera's back on. Thank you. Looks like Josh fixed it for TP. One punch panda. Why are you high? What's wrong? Okay. We're good. I don't get it. Alright, so, moving on. Moving on up, moving on up to the east side. So the deluxe apartment? deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh, are you ready for the stats, TP? Please and thank you. Or the magic words. Oh, I gotta have that. I have the ley line okay, walker. So I'm ready for the stats. Where if you wear no armor, you get all the evasion. Survival? Survival is nine. Uh, weapon. Your weapon is a two six four. Thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it. Wow. Well, thank you, Professor Chaos. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Professor Chaos. Oh. Professor Chaos. All right. Um, armor. Brain? Uh, two at every location. Including brain. Including the brave. I'm sorry, that is a lie. Hold off. You have incandescent hide, so you're going to be getting four armor at each location. 
I hate you. And your brain is going to have 13. That's not true. I don't consider that armor, because it's insanity. It's brain armor. I mean, it technically is brain armor, but it's not written as armor. It's written as insanity. You're not written as armor. You're, you're insanity. I'm the entire embodiment of insanity. No, no, I said urine sanity. And then pee sanity. <laughs> pee sanity. Pee sanity. Pee sanity. All right. Uh, what is the monster like? Oh, well, okay. we haven't got that yet. So. Sorry. Uh, stat. Movement. Movement's a six. Ooh. Your accuracy is a one. Your strength is a two. Your evasion is a three. Your luck is effectively a four. And your speed is a zero. Ooh. Luck is four and speed is... Zero. Zero. And effectively, your luck is a four because we all have plus two luck tokens. We have a lucky charm on you guys, and you have a deadly weapon. So what does that mean? It means you're going to crit on a six plus. Mildly ridiculous. Well done. Okay, and... Um... We supported it as well. Harumph. Harumph, harumph. Harumph, harumph. And then what is the monster like? Uh, we don't know yet. The chat's still up with the poll. So, TP, if you want to close that poll out, we can determine which monster we're fighting. Look at that. It looks like we're going to be fighting the Phoenix. So, Josh, if you can get the book out for the Phoenix, what level are we going to fight, senor? And, uh, TP, please get the time chicken. And the survivors. Just don't choke it on your way over here. You get it? You get it? You get it? <laughs> Thank you, Ender. Thank you, Ender the Third. Or Ender the Herd. Here's the time ticket. And if I choked it, I think Ben would kill me. You do know what that means, right? Yes, I know what that means. So, Josh, I'm going to need the uh, Phoenix Hunt events and the Random Hunt events, and we can get that set up for you. Uh, it's time to go fight the Phoenix. We don't have to choose a departing party because, darn it, we only have four survivors left. Well, isn't that convenient? And everyone has XP, right? Uh, yes, everyone does have hunt XP. I have a buttload of hunt XP, if you will. All right. Um, TP, if you also put up a contest of who's going to get the final blow. Josh, did you give me the Phoenix Hunt event cards? I'm working on that. No, no, you're not. You're not grabbing I'm... them. I don't believe you. I think you're wrong. You are wrong, mostly because his name is Josh. And that's just how it works. Well, that's just not nice. So we're fighting what level, Josh? Level two. Level two? Why is that, you pansy? <laughs> Because I know I'm joking. I don't. I don't want to fight a level three. So let's get the Phoenix on the board. Oh, TP, we need our survivor minis too. So if you could please get those as well, I'd really appreciate that. Because I know that's what your favorite pastime activity I'm is. Sorry, say that again. Get our survivor minis. Thank you. How? <clears throat> Are you okay? No. Good. I'm kind of crazy. Kind of. Matt. Um, before Why not level three? Don't you want everyone to bleed to death? No, no, we don't. Uh, would you like me to change out your headgear to get a rawhide? So if we wanted to actually do a new game plus plus, you can actually check AI allocations. No. No. I don't care. Okay. I don't beat stuff up. I want the plus evasion. You know? No. 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 Josh, I'm going to need a plus one strength token because I have quixotic. Thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> so we are five subs away, or five sub points away. Five sub sandwiches away. From our sub only giveaway. And we are $26, $25.69 apparently. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. From our sub only giveaway. TV, you want to switch no, over to the sub only giveaway. board game? I can do that if you give me one second. Did you give TP her plus two luck to update on the, her character? I sure did. <laughs> yes, 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 you did. You would know that if you were paying attention. If I'm you were joking. paying attention. I believe in you, Josh. I don't. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> it's just funny that I... I You're I, funny looking. I am. Um, okay, we're going to move over to the board now. 
and diggly doodly. Wow, that's really close. Can you zoom out? Is that zoomed in? Yeah, I think that's zoomed in. I don't think that's zoomed in. Can you double check? I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure it's it is. zoomed in. I'll double check that. Give me one second. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. The campaign. That's zoomed in. That's very zoomed in. That's not zoomed in. Huh. Why does it keep doing that? Default? No. I don't know. Bear McGird. McGird gonna pull out? Ew. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to. Oh. No, I will not be able to. We'll make it work. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Uh, we're just gonna have to move the board around manually. That's not that big of a deal. We'll clear out some extra space for that. Uh, but we'll get it done. And we also have our... Yeah. Why are you so small? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I believe we're ready to go. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way, where I'm going to go first, Josh is going to go second and third, and TP, you and Twitch are going to go fourth on the hunt board. Is everyone ready? Good, let's begin! Let's go! First up is a random hunt event. That is, oh, there we go. Please turn off autofocus. Uh, and I'm gonna roll a D100. 82, what's an 82? It's a number. How bad? That is much better. So what is 82? 82 is consuming grass. Vibrant green grass grows in patches ahead of the survivors. Closer inspection of the delicate leaves reveals them to be as sharp as tiny fine blades. Carefully picking their way past the verdant hazards, a random survivor stumbles and becomes a straggler. Roll on the table. So it says a random survivor becomes a straggler. So we need to roll for straggler, right? It says roll for straggler? The lowest? Well, it just says a random survivor stumbles and becomes a straggler. So we need a random... Okay, survivor. so TP, please have a D10 rolled. Uh, D4? Yeah, a random D4 rolled. How about that? So one, two, three, four. And also, if you can mess with the focus on the board cam, I think that's off, and that's what's driving me a little cuckoo why we thought it was zoomed in. That's a two! Uh, so that's going to be you, Josh, uh, your first character. So you need to roll a d10, Josh. How's that? Five. A five. The survivor falls, but dexterously manages to avoid touching the grass with bare skin. One gear item does fall in. Archive one gear of your choice, or keep it, and treat the result as if you rolled a one on the table. You don't want to treat it as if you rolled a one on the table. I'm assuming you want to get rid of your leather shield. Is that better? No, it still looks really blurry to me. Hmm. Gonna lose... It like, really looks like the camera zoomed into me. It does, but it's not. Because when I was messing with the board before, it didn't let look me, that zoomed in. Let me try something real quick. When I was setting up for the evening. Alright, Matt, what's the next hunt? The next hunt is going to be... Uh, you, Josh, it is bird-brained. I'm going to roll for you. Okay. And this is the phoenix fussily gathers materials for its temporary nest. Roll a d10. Uh, it's an even. There if it is go. even, move. That looks much better. What uh, was it? It rechanged the uh, resolution. Ah. Changed the what? It changed the resolution. It looks much better now. Uh, move the phoenix two spaces <coughs> forward on the hunt board. So two spaces further away from us. Forward? Backwards. I'm assuming we're chasing after the bird. So forward means it runs away from us, and backward means it moves towards us. Because we're moving in a logical progression, so forward is in that direction, and backwards is in the direction we came from. That's how I interpret that. Okay, so he's going to one, two? Yeah. That's it. It's not that bad. Except we have to do more stuff now. So then, this is your second one, Josh. This is Object of <coughs> Desire. Oh. Object of Desire. I know, that is me. I am your Object of Desire, right, Josh? Uh, no. No, you are not. Uh, the survivors set a tree, see a tree in the distance, reaching up from the horizon like a desperate, gnarled hand. Players may nominate a survivor with three-plus courage to investigate. If they do, add the Lonely Tree Terrain card to the showdown setup board and roll on the table below. So are we going to do that, Josh? No. Yeah. No, we don't need that added hassle. All right, so then roll a random hunt event. Do you want to have chat do it, or do you want to do it? It's chat, chat, you rolled. Matt, TP, Matt rolled horribly. TP, please have chat roll a D100. 
That is a D100. Rolling a D100. Rolling in the D. So chat, please roll a D100. It is a 49. What is a 49? 49 is oil fields. The landscape is dotted with large red mounds oozing oil. The smallest spark threatens to ignite the foul-smelling mounds. Roll a d10. TP, please have chat roll a d10. I can do that. Hello, Deliriums. I finally managed to solve the unable to verify That's your Twitch account and now can talk. D10, folks. D10. I rolled... Sorry. A five. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, next up, this is going to be TP. You want to move? Uh... Yeah, I can move us down the hunt board. TP, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. Time flows backwards. A blinding light accompanied by a bone-crushing vacuum rushes over the survivors. All survivors lose one level of the hunt XP for each level of their quarry. So we're all going to lose two hunt experience. Well, that's a bummer. Is it, though? We just got younger. People pay for that. Um, if any survivors have no hunt experience, they disappear. They are dead. No one remembers they even existed. Well, that's depressing. No one died, though. If we all still exist, roll a random hunt event. So, TP, please have chat roll a D100. That's a D1000. Thank you so much. We need to give her the... Uh monster stats because she has the butcher up right now. Would you like to speak louder, please? We need to give her the monster stats because you have the butcher up right now. They rolled a three. Oh, shit, no. Is that... God fucking damn it. Uh, the survivors are surrounded by an echoing coup of infant babble. Strange baby face birds circle overhead. Gripped with instinctual horror, the survivors break into a run. Every survivor must roll a d10. The lowest scoring survivor, or survivors in this case, becomes the straggler. If any survivor has noisy gear, uh, they get minus two to their roll result. I rolled a nine. I don't have any noisy gear. I rolled a four. three, and then rolled a four. So, Curtis Snaptits is the... Uh... So, Josh, I need you to roll a D10. Am I dead? Mm. Running and flailing wildly, you suddenly find yourself panicked and alone. The waiting cancer pigeons descend and mercilessly peck your back. Their happy cooing, filling your head with horror. Your body is stricken with cancerous illness. You cannot gain survival. Record this impairment. The other survivors find you balled up and weeping on the ground. So I can't gain survival. Yeah. It's not... It blows, Josh. There's only two fights left. It blows and you know it. If it blows, I can manage you know this. it. Clap your hands. <coughs> Notice Violet. how Josh didn't have his horns. Thank you, Tibbs. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs. They call me Mr. Mr. Tibbs. Tibbs. Uh, so that could have been a little bit worse. But so next up is going to be little me. So I'm going to roll a random hunt event, but I'm going to let chat do it. So TP, please roll a D100. D100 is coming your way. D100. We rolled a 7. What's with the low rolls? Hungry ground. The ground suddenly splits and a gaping stone mouth attempts to devour the event revealer whole. The event revealer rolls on the table. A 2. The event revealer scrambles, but their leg is caught in a terrible maw. Suffer 2 event damage to the legs. I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. But can you? I can. So I have no more leg armor. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be fine. Uh, so that's that. It's time for Overwhelming Darkness, everyone's favorite. Since we have, uh, uh, except darkness, we can always roll on the path of the brave, but everyone needs to roll a d10. So TP, please have chat roll a d10. Josh, you roll a d10. Josh, you roll a d10. Matt, you roll a d10. Seven. I rolled a one. Thank you, Deathmorn. Three. Um, you have, like, all of your tents. Two. All right, so one, that's me. You boldly walk into the monster's maw and are consumed whole. Spend all your survival or die. So I now have no survival. Fucking fantastic. Josh, you had a two. Uh, you emerge from the darkness crippled with doubt. Gain a minus one speed token. Oh, same, same for your three. That's 
Yeah. Right. And TP, you rolled a seven. The darkness drowns out your lantern light. Gain a minus one accuracy token. But don't bother with that so far, because we can remove a minus one token of our choice when the showdown starts. So I don't think you'll have to worry. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Josh, can you go over and update the monster stats for TP? I mean, I did tell me that Josh wants to do it. I just didn't want to... Look at the level two. Level two? And the crest as well. So that was overwhelming darkness. Yay. Josh, this one is for you, bud. Uh, remember to get monsters to... Yeah, we got that now. Uh, unmake. A static fills the air. Reality quivers and bends around the survivors. Objects spontaneously deteriorate, while others appear to sharpen in the field of vision. Each survivor must nominate one gear in their gear grid and roll a d10. So everyone needs to nominate a single piece of gear in the gear grid and roll a d10. How do I know accuracy? Uh, zero. It'll say, like, plus tokens on there. Generally, they don't have those. So choose a item in the gear grid. That you don't mind losing. So, like, damage would be zero? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, six plus to not lose it, right? Yeah. I'm gonna nominate my monster grease. I'm nominate my dragon vestments? Okay. Because they're not needed anymore. Like, yeah. It'll be fine. TP, I recommend you nominate your monster grease as Excellent. well. Sure. That or the cat eye circle? Uh, cat eye circle you get rid of. Ten. Okay. So on a ten, remake. The, if the gear is a weapon, it's not. If the gear is armor, it's not. So. If the gear has the other keyword, does it have the other keyword? Yes, it does. It's destroyed. Archive it. I would have done Yeah. The Estimates. Yeah, I, well, that's other two now. Yeah, I, I would have just. Basically, if you choose any other gear, it always gets destroyed. So don't choose other gear if you can help it. The only other thing I could have done was a lucky turn. I know it's like. You probably would have. No? I do have plus two luck. Yeah. Sure. Life? I'll keep. Uh, how many AI cards does it say that it has? Plus one. Level 2, it's going to have 10 plus 6 plus 1, so that's 17 plus 1 is 18. Does all this look right? Uh, I think that looks fabulous. I'm looking at my video, yes. though, so... I mean me. I'm looking at uh, 6 plus, I don't lose my monster grease. 4, I lost my monster grease. Uh, unmake the gear, twists and fails, falls apart, gain the resources used to craft this card, and archive the gear. To make an organ. TP, please have chat roll a d10 when you get a chance. That is an exclamation mark, d space 10. And we're going to see if you unmake or remake your monster gear. I forgot how annoying this guy's set of hunt event cards are. Uh, so d10, they got a 10. So you're fine. It'll be great. You have the stack of cards all over. I sure do. So next up, it is going to be Josh. This is your other character's one. This is a random hunt event. So TP, please have chat roll a D100. D100. I would like to say that we're off to a good start, but we're not. This is awful. You're okay. awful. I am awful. Thank you so much. You're awful. They rolled a D100, and they got a 36. Uh, What's up? Who will get the final blow? Giggity. Uh, on the trail, the survivors rush forward, feeling their quarry close at hand. Skip the next hunt space. If this move move uh, begins the showdown, the survivors ambush their quarry. Yes. Cool. So we ambush the phoenix. But nobody has noisy gear, right? I do not have noisy gear. Torch um, doesn't, right? Nope. Cool. Well, who are the other options? Matt Stalker, Phoenix. Uh, Giggle Mesh, which is really Gilgamesh. No, Giggle Mesh. Uh, Curtis, Snap Tits, and Duskmorn. Damn. It was 34, not 36. Oh, was it really? Was it really 34, not 36? Oh, yeah, it was. No, it's 36. <coughs> no? Oh, you're right, it is a 34. Shit. Well, shit. Well, shit. Uh, other way around. Yeah, Astarashi got 34, and Jessborn got 36. All right, so we don't get to skip that space. Mwah, mwah. <sighs> and you thought something went well for us. Uh, crippling Misery. This sounds much better. Every survivor must roll a d10. So everyone roll a d10. Oh. I rolled a two. Two. Eight. Eight. 
TP, roll a d10. Right. That's exclamation mark. T space 10. Who ever? Why'd you put Matt? Oh, Matt, Matt Stalker. Stalker. Okay. Roll a four. So it's a two. It is the loser here. And... Uh, uh, it, or survivors in case of ties. So both of us, Josh, uh, we are overcome with crippling misery and loneliness and suffer two brain damage. Oh, fantastic. Sounds like my real life. So I'm going to go down and <coughs> off top one insanity. I'm not insane anymore. <gasps> so now, uh, TP, this one's for you. Okay. Fateful Feather. The survivors pass a ruined settlement at its center. An altar holds a lustrous feather. It glows, its glow illuminates the ghostly image of frozen worshippers. Each survivor rolls a d10. So please have chat roll a d10. The lowest score be, uh, scoring survivor becomes a straggler. Oh, great. And there is a roll-off as well. So it's a nine. So we're rolling. Josh and I are rolling. We really both rolled six, sixes six. again. One more six. Ten. How many settlements are going to end with a freaking phoenix? I know, right? Everything. So, Josh, you are the straggler. The stragglers instantly forgets the sum of their life. Cough. <coughs> cough. Uh, set your weapon proficiency and hunt experience to zero. You may gain the benefits of age again. Remove all disorders and fighting arts. Is he naked? No, no. He didn't take, get his He's armor taken naked? Away. Uh, gain one tail feather phoenix resource. If any survivor has the hours ring, you do not. And as a reminder to everyone watching at home, the hours ring is the butthole. Are you a butthole? You look like a butthole to me. Why are you looking at my butthole? No, you look like a walking butthole. Right, so you're looking at me, therefore you are looking at my butthole. Not the butthole of the butthole, though. Is that the mouth? <laughs> you okay there, TP? Uh, I giggle for it. Okay, so... You have lost your fighting arts. How does that affect you? Uh, okay. You okay? I didn't have anything. And luckily you already have your bingo, so that doesn't get taken away. That's forever. Uh, so we don't get to ambush the phoenix, so that's cool. Um, I do have Oracle's Eye on a couple characters, so I get to look at this lovely deck, so... Alright, the card to do a new game plus. The one legendary card that got in the deck out of the four, the three possible ones, the 33% chance, is in here. That's nice. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So. so, Josh, we need some terrain. I need the Nightmare Tree, Cough Cough, <coughs> and two randoms. So if you could please get me two random terrain cards and a Nightmare Tree terrain card, we can get that going for everyone. And, guys, as a reminder, we are $25.69 away from our next giveaway. And I think... Four subs away from our next sub. Four subs. We do have sandwiches. a lot of stuff uh, from Gen Con signed by Adam Poots. We've got art cards. We've got Can we mis uh, we got Survivor boxes. Put that camera up a little bit more. You in He just wanted to interrupt you while you were talking. It's fine. Yeah. He wants to know if you would tilt that camera up when you get a chance. <clears throat> but this is what the pre-show was for. It was. Oh, that's good. Phoenix is bigger than what we were expecting to fight. It's also quite a bit closer than what we were expecting. Yeah. Just like lift the actual. No, no, that's, that's fine. Leave, leave it like that. Leave it like that. Eh, it didn't do anything. Yeah. No. You have to do the actual base. Or you can lift the camera. It kind of sold. No. No, it doesn't. Stop. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm doing it. You control for it. Alright, you can turn it down a little bit. You can kind of see our tummies. That's very crooked. No one wants to see your tummy. That's my good better. Thank you, Kerfunkel. No more 69. Unless he made it go up to no. 69. He did so not. 31. He did not. Did you count the bits? No. How do you know? Because it's at 65. I'll get you a 499 go. I can go You're for it. You're so coffee. sweet. I just want coffee from my fridge. I'm too lazy to get it. You can get me coffee. Thanks, everyone. We're ready. 
you. Thank you, Delirium. Oh, in that case, I'll take your four ninety nine coffee. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, so, Josh, I need two randoms. I got the randoms. I'm getting you the... Ooh, drink. tall grass. That's good. Can I add points for everyone? I'm the tank. Uh, I don't know if there's an add-all command. That's rude. Thank you, Werble Wind. Werble. Uh, we want to do the uh, all, from all sides. Oh, is that what we want to do? Yep. And how many spaces away? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Why are you putting them behind that? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you don't know? What's wrong with you? Huh? Cough. <coughs> Cough. Okay. All right. You have Twitch in the butt? Uh, yeah. Twitch is in the butt. Woo! Twitch is in the butt. What? What? Uh, move your guy down in one spot. Are we ready to begin? I think so. Yay, we shall begin. Let us fight the Pahernix. So, Monster goes first. Who is starting off as Monster Controller? Um, the tank. I'm the tank. Can I wish we had the death die? Nice to me. Death, death, die? Matt, in case you're wondering? No one. No one wonders why. Why is that? Arkaznor, Ar I'm going to butcher the name. Arkaznor says, You can get your own coffee, Matt. Don't make TP do everything. And I gave him points. This is why people are nice to me. You have no points. You can buy people's blood if you try. Why do you think <laughs> I'm still friends with you? <laughs> All right. So you're friends with Josh, not me. What's the monster doing first there, Josh? Analtorium! Roll a d10 oh. on a... S traits. Traits. And then put out the traits. 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 Treats. I like treats. This... So materialize is trait number one. Materialize, remove the monster from the showdown board and place it adjacent to the target. It must be placed so its base covers as many other survivors as possible and they suffer collision. Top of the food train, chain. The monster suddenly seems older. Minus three to severe injury rolls resulting from monster attack. That's a legendary card that's in there? Yep, it starts in play. On a level two? Yep. Oh, yeah. Zeal, at the end of each monster turn, perform a basic attack. And Dreaded Decade. Roll a d10. If the result is equal to or less than your insanity, remove all age tokens. Otherwise, suffer Spiral Age. It's a Survivor Status card. And that's... Spiral Age is... Remove all age tokens and gain 4 Hunt XP for each token. If you gain more Hunt XP than available, Hunt XP boxes, you cease to exist. When you cease to exist, if your settlement innovated family, all survivors with your surname lose 2 weapon proficiency levels. So we have the Analtorium. Roll a d10 on the result of six plus a random survivor and the blind spot is pulled in. There are no survivors in the blind spot. So we don't need to in. roll. We survived his first card. High five. Yay. But now he's gonna perform a basic attack. So what is his basic attack there, Jay Bear? His basic attack is... Closest threat in range. I'm assuming it's going after the tank because I'm the tank. And I'm the tank. I'm the tank. I'm the tank. So he's going to materialize floor. right in front of you there. It's going to be super scary. He doesn't materialize. He just... Don't, don't argue with me. You know, You're we're not there, the this creator. Is he's not allowed to argue with you. Don't argue with me. I get an age token. You get an age token. And TP, we're going to have to ask you to roll three D10s. So that's exclamation mark... D space 10. We're going to need three of them. Three D10s. All right. Coming at you in just a three, second. Four. Six plus hits. Six plus hits. So it's a 50-50. That is one miss, one hit, two hits. For three damage each. You're going to take two hits for three damage each. So where are you getting those hits at? The body and the body. Are you going to dodge one? No. I have limited survival. Ah, that's true. 
Uh, and then he's going to do Razor Wind. So Survivor's in the Blast Zone. That's you. Suffer knockback seven. I'm um, dashing. Okay. So where are you dashing to? To his side. Which side? Uh, either side. I'm going to put you here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So you dash there. You do not get any of that good stuff. And that's the end of the monster's turn. So it is now our turn. Uh, let's go beat him up. Right? Oh, boy. I can't reach him. So unless someone else needs to go first to try and trigger a reaction. So if I do a wound and yeah. don't crit, he does displacement, which places the phoenix anywhere along the board edge furthest from the attacker. So he would come to this board edge? So anywhere on the board edge. He can go here, so I can run straight up to him and attack them. Yeah. So you want to go ahead and attack them? Sure. Go for it, Joshy! Attack um, it. Hit him in the face. Right in the butt. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to wound. Um, can you just... No, it doesn't matter. Uh, can I get to his blind spot? Yeah, let's go to blind spot. We have 69 viewers right now, and it just makes me so happy. Yeah. All right. Um, um, stop each turn you attack before you draw a hit location. I'll, I'll, I'll say it before I do it. Uh, five plus the hit. Unless I do it with the shield. Unless you do it with the shield. I'm just going to inherit Josh now. Should I shield bash it? No. Should I shield bash it? Just Zambato. Zambato? Okay, Zambato. What are you, no, what are you attacking? His I'm attacking the Glorious Crest. Before I draw the card, I have to say it. Okay. I now have plus 10 strength, and I get 3 insanity. And the monster's got how much toughness? 12. So you're, you're fine. Turn to face the attacker. Wait, have we made any changes to the monster? No hits? Nope. No, not yet. So everyone, that's the fix. <coughs> but, so Josh, roll a d10. You crit on a 6+. plus. That's an 8. That's a crit. A crit. Gain one random phoenix resource. Oh, what's it? What resource did I get before? A uh, small, the tail feather. Tail, tail feather. feather. Tail feather. Gain one random phoenix resource. And TP, please reduce the monster's life total by 2. Uh, we got the phoenix finger. Uh, who does anyone want insanity? It's plus three insanity. I don't need it because I'm gonna gain all the insanity. I only have one insanity, but it doesn't really matter. I guess take I'll it. take it. How much is it? Three. Three. So I'm up to four insanity. So I'm assuming you're not surging to go again because you have limited survival. Yeah. I need something that gives me survival. Like that's what I need. That's where my issue is right now. No, because you have no survival at all. Right. I have zero survival. I have to spend it all. Um. So we've got the next hit location card revealed. Josh, can you reach it with your other character? Your red character. Um, I could. I could dash. I could dash. Uh -huh. I could dash, and then I, I could slam into his body. Come on and slam if you want to jam. You know the difference between jelly and jam? The ones made with the preserves. No, no, no. Preserves is a different category. <laughs> so preserves has whole fruit, jam, jam has bits of fruit, and jelly is just juice. Just juice. Just okay. Juice. So begin in my turn. Still manage to make dirty. I am standing at the beginning of my turn, so I get to check the top two A cards. Right. And TP, you have that ability as well, just to remind. Um, Which is what? I'm sorry. At the beginning of your turn, you can check the top two cards of the hit location de of the AI deck. All right. Oh. So you have Peck, which gains an age token. And then uh, before damage, it destroys armor. So whatever armor is at that location goes to zero. Next one's Ripple, which performs Spiral Age. Mm -hmm. I only have an age token. I have no age, so I really don't care if Spiral Age is So we'll get rid of that peck one. So we'll leave peck on top. We're going to get rid of his pecker. Um, I'm going to dash forward. Dashing forward in the snow. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna Come do on. five full moves. Thank you. Thank you, Kedok. Thank you. Foretold. Oh, Kedok. I, it says foretold to start watching. Oh. Then... Alright. So I jump in there. Um, I push him back one. That's actually very beneficial. Hi, foretold. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have reach? No. Oh, I don't have reach. Cough, cough. <coughs> Alright, so I... 
Yes. What do you do? What would you do um, for a Klondike plant? I roll 2d10. And I hit on a 5+. plus. That's a 7 and a 2, so that's one hit. And you are attacking the hard beak. So this is a super dense location, and I need you to roll a d10. And what do you hit, uh, what do you, what's your strength, and what luck do you have? Um, I have a constellation, so I have plus five strength of this weapon. Right, so and it's nine. weapon's got nine strength. Do you have any natural strength? I have two natural strength. So you 11. just need to roll two plus. I also have plus five strength from my... Two plus. Eight. eight. That's a crit. That's a crit. Uh, so, persistent injury cracked beak ignored the effects of destroy armor. Booyah! Which, I think the next card was a destroy armor card anyways. Yeah. So I doubled. You double got rid of that. So, TP also, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And is that the end of your turn? Um, I need it to get a little bit closer if you can. Uh, there's no way for me to smack it again. TP can reach the monster. In the butt? In the face. Ugh. But no. his face looks like a butt. Fair enough. So you're going to have to spend a survival to dash. So go ahead and roll a d10 to cough cough. <coughs> uh, regain your... To see if you regain that one survival. And you regain it on a 6 plus. Oh, they get to check the top two cards of the AI. <laughs> they sure do. They get to top, check the top two cards of the AI deck. So Josh is just going to reorder those. So Ripple isn't rolling? bad. Uh, one d10. One. Three. And let us know what you get. That's a five. So you're going to use your... Uh, excuse me. You're going to use your survival. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to keep... Can I it? I'm going to keep you one space away from the monster, just because uh, you have reach. And what do you mean you see if you regain it? That's what that you just was, rolled for. Okay, sorry. And now you need to roll to see if you hit the monster. That is two d10s, and you're going to hit the monster on a 5+, plus because you have plus one natural accuracy. So again, plus one natural accuracy... A seven. That's a seven. So that's one hit. And what's the second one? That's another D10 we need, folks. Oh, it's a one and a seven. Narflick rolled a one in the beginning. Okay. So that's one hit, one miss, and TP, you are attacking the feathered buttocks. So you still hit him in the butt. Living things are happy. Uh, feathered buttocks so you need to roll a d10 you have four strength on your weapon you have two natural strength so that is a six strength three uh, three is not enough yeah. so you do not wound yeah. the monster uh, that's in that and no surging no more you can yeah. surge if you want yeah can I dance if I want to you can leave your friends behind well if they don't dance let's search so first, roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival for surging. Rolling a d10? Uh, I do. I get, uh, rolled an 8. And then we're going to uh, roll two more to attack again. 7. And an 8. So 7 and 8, that's two hits. So you're attacking the... Uh, do the feathered neck first. So, yes. you're attacking the feathered neck. So, TP, please roll a d10. Cough, cough. <coughs> Every time he does, I, think, I feel like he's going to go, thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it. So, you rolled a 7. That's a crit. That is a crit. Ooh. So, uh, your blow damages the cervical vertebra, crippling the phoenix's defenses. Gain one random phoenix resource, and the phoenix gains a minus one toughness token. And one so, one. reduce the monster's life total by one, and also reduce the monster's toughness by one. So, his toughness goes down to 11, making him that much easier to wound. So, Josh, what is the random uh, oh, yeah. resource that we got from the Pahonix? If you will, good sir. The random resource is... How about some small hand parasites? That's disturbing. It's still wiggling. Wriggling. Wriggling? Wriggling. And then you are also attacking the inner face. This is the death blow card, but you can't kill him here. So please roll one more d10. I rolled the four. This is minus two toughness to wound this location. He has so minus one toughness token. He has minus one toughness token. So he's down to a toughness of nine? No, I had her reduce yeah, I know. the toughness so, there. Um, oh, the, from the, the slam. Minus two. Yeah. 
So it's minus two, minus one from oh, the slam. I forgot about the slam. Minus one from that. <coughs> so it's a seven plus. Your weapon's got four. You've got two. So a uh, two plus wounds the monster. So it's a wound. But before I didn't, when I got a three. Correct. Because this one has minus two toughness to it. Okay. And you also reduce the toughness by an additional one with your crit. Right, I knew the crit, and then so I thought if you said two before, maybe three would work uh, yeah, last Yeah, it's an additional minus two. So do another one damage to the monster, and that ends your turn. Uh, lights is going down to 13! I can't reach the monster, and I'm very upset about that. You should be upset. You should... This is a nice crit. Upset. Uh, so I'm going to move... One, two, three, four spaces, five spaces. Uh, Josh, six movement. That's fine. I still can't hit the monster. I'm just asking if you. No, I don't want to. Uh, can I please see the top three cards, uh, the top four cards of the hit location deck, or just reorganize them as you see best fit? This might be worth it to try to hit. I mean, I can't. No, for me, with my Zambato. Is it really? Uh, destroy his liver. I mean, why destroy his liver? Uh, whatever he materializes, the phoenix is knocked down. No, that's not bad at all. How much health does he have? He's only got 13 life left. Hmm. That's up to you, J-Bear. It's up to you. Like, I have limited survival, so I'm not... I would just save it. Save your survival. Save your survival. Save it. Savor the flavor. Save it, Josh. Save Josh, save yeah, it. no. Save it, Josh. Josh, save it. Matt, what do you recommend that you do? I don't know. Okay. Uh, That's right. the end of my turn. It is now the monster's turn. So, Josh, your secondary character is the monster controller. So, please give me a the, the AI card so I can see what it is. And it is the pitying sigh. <sighs> all survivors in the field of view, so that's all of us. Uh, each survivor gains a H token, so we all get plus one H token. If target is insane, uh, are we all is insane? Is that I, guy in field of view? Field of view is everywhere but his butt. Oh, okay. Uh, if target is insane, they laugh in the face of the monster's ignorant condescending uh, condescension. They may spend three survival to gain a courage. Otherwise, the target suffers two brain damage and is knocked down. So would you like to spend three survival to gain plus one courage? Before that happens... I'm spending a survival with my green character and dashing away from his front. Why? I don't mind if I'm knocked down. I don't want to spend three survival. And he's going to do his basic attack, which is going to... Um, I can't take that. Why? Because he's going to do that freaking last zone, and I can't run away from it. Why, why would you need to run away from it? Hmm? Why do you need to run away from it? Because it does... Oh, it's bleeding. It's not bash. that bad. It's Bleed bad. one. And knock back seven. I'm in a tree. Yeah, okay. you're not gonna move so, anywhere. Fine. Save your I'll survival. Just take it. I'll take it. You pansy. Okay, so we all get the age token. Uh, otherwise, we all suffer two. T- uh, but we're insane, so we laugh at him. Ha 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 ha. So nothing happens, right? No, they laugh at the face of the monster. In your car. They may spend three survival to gain plus one courage. Right. I'm not spending. TP, would you like to spend three survival to gain a courage? It's okay. actually not a bad idea for you to do. Okay, so spend three survival. Uh, you are at eight, so you're going to drop down to five. And you're upping your courage by one. So you are one away from being awoken on the courage side of things. Awoken. Awoken. Uh, I am not. Okay. So, basic attack, closest threat in range, which is me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need three D10s to roll, please. So TV, please have chat roll. 3d10, does exclamation mark D space 10. For those of you watching at home, the first three that we get after the comment is what we shall be using. Should I surge and prevent my shield? No. It's on a four plus. Stop being a pansy. Can you speak louder, please? Just talk to myself. Unfortunately, we're talking to everyone. Nine, here. eight, and a five. Three hits. Three hits for how much damage each? Uh, three damage each. Body, head, hand. Body, head, and hand. Body, head. So you still have armor, right? And hands. Yeah. I'm almost out of armor on my body. Okay, so 
We that's the end of the monster's turn. Oh no! You now you get the <coughs> Twitch might want to dash out of this because they will get hit with me. TP, would you like to spend a survival to dash out of the way? I would recommend it. Sorry. Would you like to spend a survival to dash out of the way? Yes. Please roll a d10 to regain your survival. And on a six plus, you regain it, and that's a three, so you failed. So please reduce your survival by one. I'm just gonna have you run towards the butt. Down to a four. Closer to the butt, so that way you can hit it in the butt when you want. I and always like to hit it in the butt. Like. Josh, you're gonna get a bleeding token. You're gonna get knocked down. I oh, know, but you ignore Bash though, right? I ignore. Yeah, I ignore Bash. Sure. I and I ignore everything Josh ever says. It's not hard when he speaks so low. <laughs> okay. Okay, so end of the monster's turn. It's our turn again. I can finally hit him, but let's have uh, someone Who else. Who has the best chance to crit? Uh, either myself or TP. I have one, two, three, four luck. So I crit on six plus. Um, TP and I both have the highest chance of critting with a... Six plus? Six. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, a six plus. Right, let me do this one because the failure is a basic action. Okay. And I'm not going to fail, because I get plus all the strength in the world. I'm not going to fail. You could roll a one. Could roll a one. That's perfect a perfect hit. hit. Do I get... You don't get anything for a perfect hit, unfortunately, I don't think. I don't think. Don't think. And if you don't knew, now you knew. Okay. Um, perfect hit. Okay. And you're attacking I, the... I'm, I'm saying attacking whatever that card is, like... The glorious armpit. Half the fun is having Josh try and pronounce the hit location cards. Glorious armpit. <coughs> you almost, you almost failed. I wouldn't do. You wounded him. Uh, so please reduce the monster's life total by one TP. Two. Two. If it's a Zambato. Eleven. Hmm. All right. Next one is a rewind. So. Hey, what campaign is this? New one or still People the Stars? Still People the Stars. We are in the second to last year. Or the last one if we get a TBK. So um, can I say that you moved a space, Josh? No, I want to stay in that space. Why that space? Um, he comes, Some of his cards coming up are the whirlwind, where you have to be in the three spots around him. So Twitch can go in the back, I can go here, and you can go in that space. I just wanted to slam, and I can't slam if you're there. So why don't you move to the side space? As a reminder, these beautiful minis were done by Fen. Uh, he has an Instagram, a Patreon, he does commissions, and he paints on his own channel. So I'm going to move four spaces there, and I'm going to slam. So come on and slam if you want to jam. I Don't have... you move him a space? Yes, I move him a space back. So he's going to move that away, but I follow him up, right? That's... Oh no, only no. if you have the armor set. Yeah, only if I have the armor set. So I don't want to slam then. Um, uh, you slam this way, so I would say he would move this way, though. Okay. That would be my interpretation. Your interpolation? And you get to check the top four cards? Uh, yes. So I roll two dice, so if you can please put the two best crit looking ones there with the not so baddest reactions. I've got a lot of strength. I've got four, nine strength in total. So I wound on a uh, two uh, on a two plus. So you're probably with two rewinds. You have an age token. And what does so that do? So if you wound and don't crit, um, you Again. undo the whole attack. Ew. These two is it's gonna do a knockback seven and bash to everybody, not in the right spots, which should be here. Oh, no, I was here. Sorry. Uh, your choice. Put whatever you want up for view, and I will attack it. Uh, what's your speed? My speed's two. I'll give you a chance to get these these two rewinds, because we need to reposition to be in the right spots for everything else. Okay. So I'm going to attack the feathered breast. Do you roll yet? No. Did I not? No, I didn't. No, did oh, I didn't roll to attack. That's yes. right. I should do that. That's a six and a ten. Two hits. Two hits. So I'm attacking the 
feather, the breast, they're both the same thing. I'm gonna do this one first. You need the curve for both of them. Ooh, the computer's running really bad, TP. Are you doing something? TP. Um, no, I'm just trying to, I was trying to tweet, but I okay. guess not gonna work. Uh, crit. Okay. Uh, the intense blow causes the monster's heart to skip a beat. The monster's knocked down. I don't want to lay it down. Yeah. Monster's knocked down, though. <coughs> so, TP, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And, Josh, he's going to do his basic attack next time. Oh, yes. Because I crit. ten. That's not bad. And now I'm attacking his glorious eye. His whispering eye. Yeah. I rolled a five. That is not a crit. It is a wound, though. So if the attacker has any age tokens, they suffer rewind. Undo the survivor's attack, restore any wounds or persistent injuries this attack caused to the monster, places the survivor five spaces away from the monster. Really? <laughs> Please increase the monster's life total by one. Increase? Yeah. You still like get that. that. That's the wrong direction, Matt. You still get the crit, so he's still technically knocked down. Any wounds or persistent oh, injuries? Yes, correct. No knockdown monsters don't do reactions. Oh, that's right. That's correct. right. That's so, right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. So back down to 10? Yeah, uh, back down to 10. Actually, take two away. Yeah, take two away. Uh, so down to nine. Yes. And Delirium's bonus points. Yes. Thank are, you. No, thank Mirage you, Bob is the first one. Yeah, I, I, I've got bad memory. Considering I just made a point of saying it's not going to have a reaction because it's <coughs> called knocked down. I wasn't thinking either. It's been a... Uh, it's been one week since you looked at me. I can't remember this. I should know this. That's like one of my favorite bands. Something and said you're angry? No. I don't know. I don't know. Did you laugh at me? I, don't, I should know. I've made it to Lantern Year 8. I'm basically a pro. All right. So that's the end of my turn. I can't do anything else because I've got no more survival. So who else is up next? Um... So the next two are Eye of the Storms. So like everyone can position. Twitch has the easiest. They can get, regain their survival. So if they, it wouldn't cost them. It shouldn't cost them survival to dash all the way. Or should I have my character dash now to get in position? Just attack the crap out of him. What? Just attack the crap out of him. Oh, they're all reactions, so it doesn't. It doesn't matter. He's not dead. Yeah. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Time. Uh, next crit is the Phoenix gains uh, minus one damage token. That's nice. Uh, who's gone already? So TP went? TP has not gone. TP has not gone. TP, you want to go attack him in the butt? I know, that's a silly question. Let's do it. It's my favorite. So please roll 2d10. A 3 plus is going to hit the monster because he's knocked down. Oh, we get the 6 top 2 AL. Pack and a wing punch. So that's a 4. That's one hit. And that's and a five. 5. That's a second hit. So Josh, please reorganize. Uh, the first one Either. doesn't really matter, so let's do this one first. So TP, please attack the glorious wing claws. Roll a d10. Uh, you are going to wound on a, I believe, a three plus. Let me just double check though. You've got two strength. Your weapon has four strength, so that's six uh, strength. The monster has eleven toughness, so it's a five plus to wound. Uh, 10. That's crit. The Phoenix gains a minus 1 damage token. So TP, please reduce the monster's damage to 0. And also reduce your monster's life total by 1. Damage to... 0. zero. And reduce the monster's life total by 1. My total goes to 8. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm, you're attacking the Feathered Wing. So TP, please roll another D10. Exclamation mark D space 10. And again, you're going to wound on a 5+. plus. Eight. That's a crit. Phoenix gains a minus 1 movement token. So TP, please reduce the monster's life total by 1. And reduce the monster's movement by 1. Life total by 1 and movement by 1. Alright, so that's the end of your turn. Unless you want to surge and go again. Now, as a reminder, this is a great time to surge because all hits are hit on a 3+, plus and all reactions are cancelled. So what are we doing? Roll a. Uh, if you want to surge, yeah. to surge. Okay. So <coughs> roll a d10, and uh, six plus is going to regain your survival. 
you did not regain your survival, so reduce your survival by one. And then I'm going to need you to roll two d10s, and again, you hit on a uh, three plus. So that's a nine and a ten. Two hits. Uh, I don't believe you get anything for a perfect hit. Uh, you do not. Actually, you have Rhythm Chaser. We just haven't been applying that. Uh, so first strike is the primary eye. So TP, please roll a d10. You may cancel your attack for this. So so read this and see if you want to. Why would they want to... Reactions are canceled. Oh, reactions are canceled. Uh, okay, so right. chat rolled a six. Is that right? Or is that from a previous one, TP? Um, sorry, I'm having... Like, no, that's a, the, that's a new one. To six. Uh, six. So that's a crit. The Phoenix gains minus two accuracy tokens. So TP, please reduce the monster's accuracy by two and the monster's life total by one. Is everything fine? You need to step off camera for a minute. Okay. What Josh. Am I, what am I doing? Josh, it's fine. Get Josh to do it. Uh, Josh. No, I can do it. Just tell me. Minus yeah. two accuracy and uh, take a wound. And if you get have to switch for one more roll. A wound life is six. Cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, so Josh, go. Um, I'm. What? I was gonna t t take my turn. Only she asked the mass roll. All right. Yeah, we are critting the tar out. I mean, having two luck tokens on all the survivors helps. So now you're attacking the glorious handed feet. Uh, it's a one. That's failure. Okay. Nothing happens. All reactions are canceled. So, not the end of the world. All right. So it is now your turn, J Bear. Joshua, what are you gonna do? Besides, act a fool. And remember, all reactions are cancelled. Um, Have you gone with both characters yet, or just one? Just one. And you went with which one? Green? I went with my green, so I go with red. So I'm going to move move here. What are you going to do? Wait, where is here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to move here. Get a attack. Lot of, a lot of thought goes into this. Three plus you hit. Yeah, three plus. Ten and a six. It's two hits. Anything perfect or no? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna have you do. Oh, I got the free AI check at the beginning of my turn. Ronnie Weinland, Weinland, thank you for the follow. <coughs> All right. Please roll a d10. Uh, I have nine, ten, eleven. So nothing but a two. Uh, That's a crit. The trauma causes the monster to black out momentarily. The monster gains minus two toughness for the rest of this attack. Uh, cancel any reaction until the end of this attack. So Sorry. reduce the monster's life total by one. So he's got five life left. We'll make a note of that. Now you're attacking the feather back. Seven. That's crit, right? Yeah, that's crit. So the phoenix suffers one extra wound and stumbles. Move it forward. It's one space. So he's actually going to run into me. So you can get bash and knock back. There, and then it screws up everyone's placement. All right. So he's got three life left. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming one of those isn't the legendary card to get the fancy dancy stuff. We only have the two, the Anatorium and yeah. the Pit Inside. All right, so it's the monster's turn no, now? No, I'm going I'm I'm to search. search. Let's just finish this. I mean, you could, but you might not finish it. You have a chance. Twitch can then surge once the monster goes to attack. And, and then kill him then. That's true. That's a seven and a six. That's two hits. No trap card. No trap. No trap card. The glorious winged Schwinkta. Uh Let's see which one, though. Oh, that would be great for me to hit. Let's do this one first. Ooh, this is a good one. It's a ten. It's, 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 a, it's a ten. No, I'll reroll. It's a ten. No, that's, that's still the same thing. Uh, you sever a slender phoenix finger. Gain one phoenix finger phoenix resource. You may spend two survival to heroically bellow. If you do, all non-deaf survivors gain a courage. I have six, cur seven courage, uh, seven survival. So yes, I will do that. So I'm gonna gain a courage, which isn't that big of a deal. But TP becomes awoken now. So people listening in chat land can. Um, Curtis Nathan also becomes awoken. Uh, yes, our life total does include the basic action card. <coughs> so that is its total life that we are showing. So yes. people in chat land, I can't put it in there. Uh, it's actually supposed to be at three life right now. It's about to go down to two life, but I need a d10 to be rolled. 
So please roll a d10 and you become awoken. So Josh, I need the Dragon King book, please. Please uh, have the chat roll a d10, exclamation mark, d space 10. That is a six. six. And that is awoke, awake, awoken, awaken, bacon. Uh, a six is plus one permanent strength, a random fighting art, and the reincarnated surname. So they are... Uh, they're, they're, already they're already reincarnated. So they get plus one strength. Plus one strength. So they have three natural strength now. So that's another bingo. And a fighting art. But they already have a bingo, so they can't double up. No, you can't double bingo. And they need a random farting heart. Uh, I rolled a four for mine. I'm assuming you wrote this, and instead of Frozen Star, you wrote Frozen Arts. Uh, acrobatics. When you are adjacent to the monster, you may spend a movement action to place your survivor on any other spot adjacent to the monster. So get rid of Champion's Right or Rhythm Chaser or Frozen Star. Uh, yeah, um, we haven't been using Rhythm Chaser. It's nice, though. I don't remember. What, it, what is the Rhythm? I believe it's you get plus one evasion for crit? each turn you're... For each crit that you get, and as soon as you're knocked down, it goes away. I'd rather keep that. That's a champion, right? We never use it. We do never use champions, right? We never use Frozen Star, either, but... It's a minus two accuracy, so it, that's like a clutch. Yeah. Spend the one survival to get minus two accuracy kind of thing. Understandable. <laughs> All right, so what is a four for Awoke? Uh, uh, four does the same thing. Plus one permanent strength, a random fighting art, and the uh, reincarnated surname. So reincarnated surname, which is over to here, and a fighting art. So what is the random fighting art that you got there? Timeless Eye. Ooh, Timeless Eye is good. And that is nine or ten is a perfect hit, correct? Yeah. I mean, it's not that great. It's okay. It's okay if you have something that stacks with perfect yep. hits. And that's the end of that. Uh, next, uh, next hit location. The next hit location is the Glorious Wing Sphincter! Sphincter here! Get your sphincter! That's a crit! The Putrid Sphincter explodes! Gain plus one insanity if you're insane. Are you insane? Yeah, I'm insane. It tastes delicious! Yum yum! Gain plus three survival too. Oh, I'm back up to eight survival. So the monster has one health left. He's got no AI cards. <coughs> uh, apologies for not updating this, but it happens. So, it is the monster's turn now. Yes. Does anyone want to surge? It's going to pick target, closest threat in range. Uh, that's going to be you. He's not knocked out anymore. Right, he's standing. Would you like to attack him? Because you got the lowest speed? Oh, you got limited survival. I have limited survival with this character, so I don't want to do it. Next card is Impervious, so I can't do anything anyway. Oh, so you want someone with at least two speed anyways. So I... Th do you want Twitch to do it? I think Twitch should do it. Go jump over there and have the I command. I think Twitch wants to do it. So first, roll a d10, and have that be to see if you regain the survivor. Survival. Um, no, if, do you if, want to have them run to the blind spot? I, I don't think they need dash. Um, I'm going to use a... I'm going to surge with... Let me surge with uh, Hands my up. other character. Yeah. And check the top three hit locations. You're gonna count them. Oh, okay. So you're gonna check the top three hit locations. Because we're getting low on there, and I don't, I don't want them to hit the trap card. No trap card. Um, so put the impervious one down, and put whatever is best on top. Josh, it's not too late to surge and use first and star, and what? Kill one of the other characters. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, so they use the survival. Okay, so they're down to two survival, and now we need two d10s to be rolled. Two d10s, exclamation mark, d space 10. And again, the first two that we get are gonna be the ones that we use. Which ones are we using? Which ones are we getting? A two, that's a miss. It's bad, it's bad. Three, that's a miss. So the monster's gonna attack now. Um, monster's gonna attack now. Uh, he's gonna do a basic attack, so he's gonna target you. Uh, we are going to need chat to roll three d10s because his speed is still plus one. He's got a bunch of minus accuracy though, so he's uh, he's got two plus, so it's gonna be a four plus. And this character's got how much evasion there, Josh? I see two evasion. Yeah, I think just two. 
So it's going to be a six plus to hit the, the survivor. Five, seven, eight. Three hits. It's only, it's only three D10s. What is the thing you did? Six plus. So two hits. Two hits. Five, seven, eight. So two hits. Uh, for It's going to be how much damage? For two damage each, because he got a minus one damage token. So two hits for two damage each, Josh. That's okay. fine. Uh, that's going to be to your body and your feet. It's the agony of the feet. The feet. Okay, I am then going to dash. Dashing through. Oh. Dashing through what? the snow? I'm going to get hit. Just a bleed token. A knockback. I know, but I want to deal with killing blow. He still didn't have to happen. Okay, so then I'm going to get knockback seven, two, three, four, five, uh, up against the wall, knocked down. I get a bleed token. I was here? Yeah. Why? I can, uh. I can, uh. Slam. Come on, slam if you want to jam. So that is the. Does he do another basic attack then? Yes, he does. Okay. So he's going to attack uh, the closest threat in range. So it's going to be Twitch this time. So TP, please have chat roll three d tens. They are standard in the tall grass. That should be right there. So three d tens. You have three evasion. Uh, plus he's got minus two accuracy, so it is a five plus, seven plus, plus another two plus for the tall grass, so it's a nine plus to hit you. So I see a five, and eight, and a seven. Those are all misses. However, I th you should dash right now. So <coughs> please roll a d10, and if it is a six plus, you get to regain your survival that you have spent to dash. Uh, you need to reduce your survival by one. When I was up there, I didn't do it. Can you speak louder? You need to reduce your survival by one. I did not get a chance to do it when I was over there. Down to two? Down to one, because you used another one. <laughs> no, they, uh, they gained it back. Eight. Down to two. Yeah, down to two. So that is the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn again. I stand back up. Doesn't really mean much. Uh, TP. No, you still knocked down, because you got knocked down during a monster's turn. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you were. Sorry. I'm not the game designer. You, you don't have to argue with me. You get a bleed token, though. TP, would you like to roll two d10s? Uh, no, but I will do it <coughs> I will also cough, cough. Two D10s. And again, you guys are going to hit on a... That's a three and a two. Two misses. Uh, can I search? You already searched. Yep, you did already search. So no. Um, I'm going to jump down and uh, slam into him. And he's going to... Plus one hit. Eight, one hit. Is it a one hit wonder? Uh, we will see. Plus two toughness to win this location. How much strength do you have? Um, a buttload. How much two. strength do you have? Nine. Mm -hmm. How many spaces did I move? Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's 13, 14, 15. That is enough strength. So you wounded the monster. That is the death of the phoenix. Woo! Lead them up, guys. That was actually a lot more manageable than I was anticipating it being. Same here. Same here. So we fought the Phoenix. Yes. Did we shoot the sheriff? Or All survivors have H tokens, correct? Yes. All survivors get plus one understanding. Cool. No, that's courage. Oh, look at that. Gilgamesh just Gilgamesh. got white secret. So who got the final blow? The final blow, that would be Josh. That would be uh, Duskmorn. Duskmorn. No one won that. Everyone bet on the Phoenix. Yep. That's, that's sad. Sorry, guys. Oh, White Secret, not Awoke. Yep. You guys get 15 points because I feel sorry for you. Aww. And everyone gets Hunt XP. Watch your language. So, White Secret, I get to roll D10, and we have Romantic, correct? Yes. Story of the Ageless Man. You remember the story of a young man in his prime. The man was so grateful for his body's ability to protect his loved ones, he decided to honor it by punching the dark sky above one million times. As long as he never finished his vow, he would never age a single day again. Your body transforms to its physical peak. So. I get plus one accuracy and plus one strength and the following ability. You may hunt even if you are retired. When you gain hunt XP, you may decide not to gain it. 
Josh, what is the stream element link? So the Expression point SE store. SE store. There are cool things you can do with your points, like use it to affect the game, um, get some free swag. 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 Um, Swiggity swag. You got a 15 on age. I'm pretty sure that's a random. It is a. Uh, which one? The first age? Yeah. Yeah, random fight. Um, so I can choose what I want. Shiggity shwooty. If I want. Coming for that I'll booty. I'll just grab a one because <laughs> I don't care. Somehow I don't think that's your physical piece, Matt. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this isn't even my final form. <laughs> I didn't decide to choose one of the freaking three. And you, you got... I got Faded Blow? Yeah. Is Reblo... Reblo no, Reblo's does dead. not exist anymore, Reblo dead. Uh, so we are going to get the following rewards, and I don't remember how it's modified, Josh. Uh, six basic and seven Phoenix. Phoenix. So let's get the seven Phoenix resources while we're here. Uh, let's get. We got some rainbow droppings. We can eat that poop if we want. We don't want to though. Beast Tramat says, "Swiggity swooty, physically peeking at that." <laughs> Phoenix whiskers, <laughs> some small feathers, some hollow wing bone. Some more hollow wing bone, some more small feathers, and a black skull. I feel like that means something. And now we need six basics, right, Josh? Yep. So what are the six basics that we're going to get? We're going to get some monster hide. Some love juice doesn't come in a jar. Love juice comes from who you are. Doubling up on the love juice. Some monster bone. And some more bone. And a skull. A bone. What? We got some love juice, we got to bone, and we got some head. <clears throat> and that is what we get. Um, do you give everyone hunt XP? Uh, I got a hunt. Oh, I, I look at that, I hunted up. I hunt aged up. And you get weapon proficiency too. Can you speak up, please? Did Twitch age up again? Twitch did not age up again. I missed the fight. Was it an easy battle? It was relatively easy. It was manageable. And, it uh, was Twitch easier also gets, than it uh, Weapon proficiency. I'll go for it. So, age. Let's see what I roll. So this is my one, two, third age. Uh, 14 is a random fighting art. So I'm going to get a random fighting art there, Josh. And Twitch is now an Axe Specialist, so if you can please give me the card for that, I could show that off in camera. I got Rhythm Chaser, which is plus one evasion token the first time you crit wound during a showdown. Rhythm Chaser cannot be used if there are any shields or heavy gear in your gear grid, so Twitch couldn't use that anyways. So I got Rhythm Chaser. So I'm going to... get in from here? Oh, uh, the... Uh, what? X. Uh, Calandros, that was, um, who got the final blow? Duskmorn. Duskmorn. So Twitch, you're an axe specialist, and what that means is when attacking with an axe, if your wound attempt fails, you may ignore it and attempt to wound the same location again. Cool. Which is good, because it's a low-strength weapon, so that's, that's actually really solid for you. Uh, now we're going to go back to our lovely settlement. We're going back home, guys. And what is our settlement event for the evening? Cracks in the ground. A low rumbling fills the settlement. Small cracks in the earth widen into fissures that belch up hot, foul-smelling vapor. TP, please have chat roll a d10. Okay. Seven. D10. 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 A massive crack splits the ground in two. Any returning survivors with heavy gear are dead. Archive any heavy gear in the dead survivors' gear grids is lost with their body. So Twitch. Well, that's awkward. You died. But. But. We lost the Gax. But. And. And we lost the hazmat shield no. and Curtis. Oh but, shit! We lost the hazmat shield. But okay, can can we?
We do not have one time rerolls. So now we only have one more person of the stars. Yep. We've got this settlement to try and make another person of the stars. I, I don't think it's possible. Oh, look, Matt, Matt, we still have something else. Oh, we got Gorm Climate. So, TP, please have chat roll a d10. No. Uh huh. I'm trying to see if it's at all possible, and I don't think it is. I mean, the cl we're, we're two away in any direction. Uh, so chat roll of two. So jagged pellets of sizzling hail rain from the sky, corroding anything that they touch the land. Uh, all resources in the settlement storage are lost. We don't have anything in storage. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So uh, how we have six endeavors. Yep. What do you want to do with them, Josh? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling that we're going to save that because there's a lot of stuff that we need to take in cons into consideration for next time, right? Yeah, there's a... Uh... It's going to be a 1v1 fight, yeah, it's I gonna, guess. We're going to have... So, spoiler alert, um, only people of the stars are allowed to fight the final boss. Oh. We have one. So it's literally going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. Uh, the funny thing is, it's Dustmorn, which is one of our original starting survivors. Is it really? Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. So our starter, <coughs> he's not even that great. He's, <laughs> he's not even that great. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's great. No, he sucks. No, he does kind of suck. If it was, if it was that one, if it was two bodies to the feet, like maybe there would have been a chance there because that survivor was ridiculous. It, this is, this is us wrapping up the settlement. That's what this is. Yeah. So we're going to say. Could a heart flute. It was a one, Eberron. It was a one. We could, we could sacrifice Gilgamesh to Heart Flute to get some, hopefully, plus stats. Don't forget Memento Mori. Would that help at all? I don't know. No, no one died in the freaking Oh yeah, no one fight. died in the fight. So we're going to have to think about this a little bit, and we will do that at the beginning of the next stream. But for now, this is the end of this stream. So thank you all for joining us for this installment of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Did I miss most of the stream? Dragon. Uh, we do not have a giveaway this evening as of yet. Uh, I mean, we still have a few minutes left if that comes through. But, but we are only two subscribers away from our sub-only giveaway, and those subscribers at higher tiers are entitled to extra entries. We're $25 away from our next open giveaway, and we are running a special in August. A special. Sounds like I'm in sales. We were doing something special in August where we're giving away um, something for every $50 instead of every $100 uh, to show that we love you in celebration of Gen Con and all the extra stuff that we got from there. We are also doing a Gleam giveaway, which is up right now. That's going to be pulled uh, next week during our finale of Twitch Plays Game and Death. Actually, I have two Gleam giveaways up. We do. Oh, okay. So we've got two Gleam giveaways up right now, and yep. one of them is also for... What's in Wager's Party Edition. That's right. Which we did a stream on Thursday. And that's going to get pulled. Thursday, maybe we'll do it in the Seabox stream. Okay. Uh, so otherwise, join us for all of our future upcoming streams. Uh, we have on Thursday our continuation of Twitch Plays Zpocalypse 2. We finally built the damn truck. So uh, what does higher subscribing do? It provides us with more money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, more money. Eventually, you can get your own sub, uh, that, your own emote your own for emote. that um, but level. But we, haven't, we don't have this Subscribers that extra tiers do get extra benefits. Uh, like subscribers with benefits oh <laughs> yeah extra benefits so we will count you as extra entries into the supplement yes. giveaways and your votes count more when we do polls on the stream as well they do I, for the tears they do the table uh what other upcoming streams do we have josh uh great game hunters i don't know exactly when Probably on Friday. We have to hammer out some of the final details coming up. But it's going to be earlier than normal on Friday, if it is on Friday. Uh, the best way, though, to find out when stuff is going on is to follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and chatting with us in our Discord channel. I skipped YouTube, too. It's the first time I messed that up. YouTube as well. And um, as far as our subscriber benefits go, uh, if you guys think of something awesome that you'd like to see us do or offer, let us know. We do have um, an improvement section in our Discord channel where the party never stops. 
And as a reminder, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, which means you get one free subscription every month. And we'd be honored if you use that on us. Those do count towards all the subscriber benefits that you can get. And those count towards the subscriber only giveaways as well. So, you know, make sure you check that out. Free benefits. Use them. Uh, Monday, do we have a stream coming up? I don't believe so. Okay. Again, best way to find out is to follow us on all of those platforms. And then finally, join us back here next week, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for our finalization of this season of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Am I missing anything else, folks? I think that is... Team! Yes, yes, go check out the team, a bunch of other awesome streamers that do board games in their time. Uh, tabletop games, board games, a lot of awesome people in there, people we've had the pleasure of meeting, people that we look forward to meeting at up upcoming cons like PAX Unplugged, which we're super excited to be going to, so stay tuned for that as well. And a public service announcement for anyone who saw us or spotted us at Gen Con, we have a terrible disease called RBF. It who, is serious. Who, me? We are approachable, I promise. I apologize to anyone who felt that they couldn't say that they were from the stream because we just looked miserable the entire time. We were tired. It was a long con. I think we got an average of four hours a night, and we were constantly running from one place to another. However, if you saw us, if you stopped us, if you wanted to, we would have made time for you because we love you guys. And I'm sorry for anyone who felt that they couldn't say something because we love you. We did over 40 interviews at Gentile. It's a lot. It's a lot. Four after shows, 41 interviews, and a panel. Mm, that's true, the panel too, yeah. But, anything else, folks? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you, everyone, so for stopping by. Thank you for joining us this evening. This is Twist Gaming signing off. Hope to see you again for all of our future streams. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Coach Proxy. Good night. Good night, everyone. Buenos nachos. I don't think that's how you say it. No, it is. Okay.